Postman Pat and the Jumble Sale. Nice to see you. My name is Postman Pat, and in today's story I shall describe how an unexpected invitation to a jumble sale led to my giving a vicar a hasty introduction to Venn diagrams, their notation, and laws. Twas the night before Jess's birthday. There had been no let-up from the daily grind. I had unblocked Mrs. Bain's chimney at the cafe, taken my regular flying lesson, and escorted Miss Hubbard to her Reiki practitioner. When I returned to the sorting office, I was surprised to find a letter addressed to me. Reverend Timms had organised a jumble sale on behalf of a World Challenge expedition to the South Pole, inviting postmen from across the district, having accidentally downloaded Mr Taylor's database when trying to access Facebook. Postmen naturally work early in the morning, or at least they did in the days when there was an early morning post and a later morning post. And they liked to wrap up warm. Because the guest list was unexpected, Reverend Timms had not catered for so many people hunting for bargain cardigans and scarves. I tried to give Reverend Timms the hard, cold facts. You're just spouting numbers at me, he cried indignantly, and with a hint of jealous venom. What I require as a man of the cloth is some kind of pictorial representation. We were literally minutes from a thermal meltdown, so I gave Reverend Timms a crash course in Venn diagrams, their notation and rules. There are 106 postmen here altogether, 57 of whom would like a cardigan, 35 of whom would like a scarf, and 36 who don't want either. If we discard the 36 from our sums, there are 70 postmen left, wanting 92 garments between them, meaning there's an overlap of 22. If 22 want a cardigan and a scarf, then that leaves just 35 only wanting a cardigan, and so on. I drew him a Venn diagram. So the probability that a postman wants a scarf but not a cardigan is 13 over 106, and the probability that a postman who wants a scarf also wants a cardigan is 22 over 35. The symbol for both, or intersection as it is commonly known, is an upside down U. The top diagram shows A intersection B, the middle diagram A dash intersection B, and the bottom diagram A dash intersection B dash. An intersection is always one region of the two circle Venn diagram. A apostrophe called A dash represents not A. The symbol for and slash or, or union as it is commonly known, is a normal U. The top diagram shows A union B and the bottom diagram A union not B or B dash. A union is always three regions of the two-circle Venn diagram. This quick, informative introduction completed, Reverend Timms was beginning to bring the jumble sale under control. Some postmen were getting the items they desired. However, without a brief description of the addition and multiplication rules, there were still going to be other postmen left empty-handed and besmirching the good name of Greendale. The addition rule is just a summary of the Venn diagram. It states that PA union B equals PA plus PB minus PA intersection B. But if you just added the A and B circles, the overlap would obviously be included twice, so it needs to be subtracted. The multiplication rule is equivalent to the question about the probability that a postman who wants a scarf also wants a cardigan. So we would write the sum with a vertical line with the information we have already been given on the right. 
Lecture over, Reverend Tim successfully coordinated the postman's requests, and the jumble sale ended peacefully. To demonstrate his gratitude, Reverend Timms took Jess and I out for a fish supper to celebrate Jess's birthday. Another adventure has ended for me, Postman Pat, my black and white cat Jess, and my encyclopedic knowledge of statistics.